good morning students so we'll move on to the next topic of nfa that is conversion from nfa to dfa okay so in this type of topic uh, sometimes they used to provide a direct nfa version from that we need to convert it for dfa exactly okay second version will be they will ask you for designing the nfa later it should be converted okay so uh, so here we got two steps involved over here fine uh, like the components of nfa and the components of dfa both are same exactly okay number of states then alphabets transition function then start state and final state are the component of dfa and the same component we have also for nfa also okay so easily we can convert uh, the nfa to dfa exactly fine so here we got some steps involved over here theory uh, i don't want to concentrate uh, regarding the sentences or theory whatever we have okay so that you can read later no problem so we'll go for direct steps that is step 1 identify the start state of dfa how we can identify the start state since q0 is the start state of nfa okay then q0 is the start state of dfa also so in case of designing the dfa so designing the nfa okay whatever the start state we have in case of nfa same will be the start state of dfa clear so we don't have any issue with the start state also okay then second component will be what uh, the alphabet so we'll see this using a second step number 2 identify the alphabet of dfa the input alphabets of nfa are the input alphabet of dfa also clear so if the input alphabet of nfa is a comma b then dfa is also having the same alphabet called a comma b clear so from nfa we can get two components which is exactly similar for the dfa what is that first one will be the start state second is what uh, the alphabet exactly okay then we left with what we left with total three different component that is transition final state okay and the number of states exactly okay fine identify the transition okay the transition of dfa we are naming it up delta to the base d exactly okay so delta to the base d if i represent in our future problem or future uh like the uh, slides fine then it it represents what transition of a dfa okay delta to the base n represents transition of nfa exactly don't get confused okay so we'll see how to identify the transition of dfa for each state like qi qj till qk in qd okay means uh, states of dfa and for each input symbol a in sigma okay we are considering it as uh only one alphabet we are having like a okay the transition can be obtained as shown here okay so we'll see this how the transition can be obtained okay you can observe here delta d of q i q j q k on the cv a okay so how to get the transition for this for we are considering like q i to q k is the state which belongs to dfa okay easily we cannot identify that we need to get it from uh this nfa exactly when we solve the problem easily you can understand okay by uh, by observing this don't feel that it is very difficult step it is okay it's very easy okay when we solve the first problem second problem okay and later further problem then easily you can identify okay so now we are considering the qi to qj are the states of d okay that means df exactly so we need to find the transition like on receiving a what will be the next step okay so how to decide that what we need to do we need to find the transition of qi in nfa exactly okay what transition we have for qi in nfa that we need to consider over here okay then what we need to do that should be made union with the transition what you got in qj in nfa exactly okay that's why delta of nfa qi comma a first thing later that should be made union with delta of n n stand for nfa means the dfa transition if i want to find then i need to go for analyzing the transition of nfa also okay qi on receiving a what you got in nfa that should be union with qj comma a that should be union with qk comma a exactly okay so after that whatever the return value we are going to get from this particular function okay so that should be added or that should be merged and see we are renaming it okay return value ql qm qn exactly so this will be the this will be the updated states of dfa exactly yeah okay this is how we are deciding the dfa add the states okay qi to qd means q1 
QD should be named with these particular states. Okay, if it is not already in QD. Okay, that we will see. Okay, how you how to do this and all. Okay, when we solve the first problem, easily we can understand. Okay, just remember this. Okay, then later this step three has to be repeated for each state uh, that is added to QD. Okay, like every time we need to do this. Okay, we need to do this particular task. Okay, so that we can. Uh, get the updated states over there. We'll see that how it can be done. Okay, don't be confused. Okay, we'll uh, solve the problem and easily you can understand. Later, identify the final state of DFA. How to identify the final state? We'll see this. Okay, uh, observe it. If QI to QJ is the states in QD, and if one of QI, QJ, QK is the final state of NFA, okay, consider like we have a NFA where Q2 is the final state. Where Q2 is the final state. Okay, so in DFA also, okay, these kind of states you are going to get exactly. Okay, you won't get be getting like Q0 or else Q1 or Q2. You'll be getting like Q0 comma Q1 comma Q2 or Q2 comma Q1. Such kind of states you are going to get after converting. Okay, so in that particular state set, okay, if Q2 is available, okay, then that particular set should be considered as a final state. Okay, this also I will discuss. Uh, when we are solving the first problem in movie. Okay, fine. So now we'll go for the first question. Observe it. Convert the following NFA to its equivalent DFA. Fine. This is a question uh, where we have given direct NFA over here. Okay, observe it carefully. How to identify whether it is the NFA or DFA? See, Q0 is the state where it is having multiple transition for multiple transition for A from Q0 exactly. See, one transition, another transition. So it, it can be called as Pure NFA exactly. What kind of problem it is? Ending with AB. Ending with AB. First problem what we solved in this previous class. Okay, ending with AB. That is what exactly. Okay. Now, uh, first thing what we need to do, we will draw a transition table for this particular NFA. Okay, same thing. Delta A and B here. We can identify. We can easily identify what is the start state. Do not the start state. What is the final state? Q2 is the start, final state. What are the alphabets? A comma B we are having. So same thing we have. Okay, Q0 on receiving A. Okay, Q0 comma Q1, Q0 comma Q1. Then later Q0 on receiving B, it will be going for Q0 exactly, self -clear. Then Q1 on receiving A, okay, we don't have any uh, transition available for Q1 for A exactly, so null character we are using over here. Then Q1 to Q2, we are representing it as Q2 exactly. Okay, we have a transition. Then for Q2, we don't have any transition, so null and null. Exactly. Then while converting, we need to opt the first, first step. What is the first step? Identify the start state. See, identify the start state of DFA. Since Q0 is the start state of NFA, Q0 is the start state of DFA. Okay, so Q0 we are considering it as the start state. In both these DFA and NFA, Q0 will be the start state. Then what we need to do? Step number two, identify the alphabet of DFA. What are the alphabets we got involved over here? A and B. So A and B is also the alphabet for DFA also. So sigma will be equal to A comma B for DFA also. Then what we need to do? We need to go for identifying the transition for DFA exactly. How we can do this? How we can do this? Okay. Now observe it carefully. Uh, right now, how many states we know for DFA exactly? Only one state, which is the state. See, step number one has identified that Q0 is the start state. Right? We have only one information that DFA may be having any number of states does not matter but right now we are with only one state which is that q0 so we'll begin with q0 and we will try to find the new state zone we'll see this how we can find this okay so identify qd means the states of dfa exactly which are the states of dfa observe it okay so start from the start state q0 and find the transition as shown here Okay, since we are having two different alphabet A and B, so here we are making a partition. So this is for transition of A and this is for transition of B exactly. So input alphabet we are using over here A. Okay, so same kind of formula we are applying over here delta D of what particular state you are dealing with, comma what is the input alphabet. Then what will be the transition available for this particular state in NFA that we need to observe. Okay, fine. We'll see this. So delta D in bracket, what is the state we are dealing with? Q0, only one state we have Q0, okay, comma A exactly. Fine, okay. So now what we need to do, what we need to do, we need to consider the transition of NFA exactly. Okay, Q0 on receiving A, what is the outcome we are having? Q0, comma Q1, is it right? 
So this will be the return value. So this is what the return value. Q not comma Q one. You may ask like previously we were having some union, okay? But here we don't have union because here you are having like multiple number of states available because of that union was there. But here we are having only one state that is Q not. So no need of union over here. Okay, only one state we are need. We need to do. But here union will come because two different state name we are having over here. Okay, fine. So Q not on receiving A we need to find for DFA. So how we can find? We need to get the return function of Q not comma A in case of NFA exactly. See Q not on receiving A, Q not comma Q one we are doing. So Q not comma Q one is the new state we are finding from this particular input symbol or from this particular uh, transition function exactly. What is what? Q not comma Q one. Now we'll go for transition for B exactly. Okay. So delta d of q not comma b here same q not we need to deal for a and b later we need to go for the new state that is q not comma q one exactly okay so delta d of q not comma b here q not comma b uh, will be what q not exactly so uh, so here the NFA transition will be return function is what q not exactly right q not exactly so return value will be q not Okay, so now observe it. So Q naught you are getting. This is not a new uh, state. We already got the state from the first step. What is the new state we got? Q naught comma Q one exactly. Now we need to find the transition for Q naught comma Q one. See, whenever you are finding a new state, for that we need to find the transition over there. Remember. Okay. So now uh, we'll go for Q naught comma Q one. Okay, we'll find it. Input symbol A and here input symbol B exactly. Delta D of Q not comma Q one comma A exactly. Now what we have two different states we are having. So how we can write this is here. Delta N, okay. Delta N. First we will consider Q not and A. Later we will consider Q one and A exactly. So delta N, Q not comma Q one for A exactly. Okay. So we are going to split it now here. Delta Okay, so delta we are having right. Okay, delta n of q not on receiving a union delta n of q one on receiving a. Okay, this we need to split over here. See here we are having two state right q not and q one that we are splitting uh, with respect to a exactly. Okay, so now this is what the transition we need to check for NFA exactly. Okay, so in case of NFA q not on receiving a what you have q not comma q one that is what the return value. So that is what the return value we are writing over here. Union of delta n q one on receiving a here q one on receiving a null we are having so for q one on receiving a according to NFA what we have null character we are having right so union null it will be so q not comma q one union null so you can easily neglect this null character okay so you will be getting only return value q not comma q one. Whether it is a new state we are finding, no, we already got this particular state. We'll go for uh, the same Q not comma Q one on receiving B now. So delta D of Q not comma Q one on receiving B will be equal to what? Same as usual, delta N of Q not comma Q one comma B. So Q not comma B and Q one comma B should be made union over here. So Q not on receiving B, what you have? Q not we have. So the return value will be Q not. It should be made union with Q two. Why? Because Q one on receiving B, we are having a return value called as a Q two over there. So Q one. Q not union Q two is it is so after making it as union okay we are representing it with single set like Q not comma Q two so now obviously we can identify Q not comma Q two is the new state right Q not was the initial later we got Q not comma Q one here we are having the Q not comma Q one itself but new state is what Q not comma Q two now we need to find the transition for Q not comma Q two exactly remember Q two is the final state okay and it is having no transition available remember this okay. So now for Q not comma Q two on receiving A and on receiving B, same we need to split it out. Okay, so Q not on receiving A, Q not comma Q one we are getting. Okay, Q two on receiving A null it is. So if you make it as union, Q not comma Q one we are getting. So this is what the state we already received in this step number uh, transition step number two exactly. So this is not a new state. And over here, Q not on receiving B, Q not it is union null exactly. Why it is Q two on receiving B it is. Okay, we don't have a transition for. Q two exactly because of that null it will be so Q not union null will be what Q not exactly so we don't have any new state available over here so we need to stop our transition 
here itself. Okay, until we find the new states, we need to move further. Remember this. So yeah, so no new state is generated. The production, the, the procedure is terminated. Okay, then step number four, identify the final states of DFA. Okay, since Q2 is the final state of NFA, is it right? Q2 is the final state exactly. Okay, in the above set, wherever in the above set, this kind of set, whatever we generated up to now, wherever we are having Q2 uh, is presented as an element. Okay, the corresponding set is the final state of DFA. Okay, so we need to check, see such kind of Q0, Q1, Q0 or here we got like Q0, Q2. Okay, here Q0, Q1. Then here we got Q0 exactly. So out of this, we need to check where we are having Q2 because Q2 is the final set and we need to check like out of those set what we have decided. Okay, out of which, uh, where exactly Q2 is available. See, Q2 is available in, in this particular position where Q0, Q2 exactly. So that should be considered as a final state. So final state of F, uh, DFA will be what? Q0, Q2 exactly. So same thing should be represented in, uh, in case of transition table. See here, Q0, first state, Q0, Q1, second state, Q0, Q2. Okay, so these are the three states what we are getting. So Q0 is the start state initially we decided. Later, Q2 where it is available out of these three states? Here. So this should be made as a final. So now, based on the transition, like Q0 on receiving A, what was the return value? So here Q0 on receiving A, return value was Q0, Q1 exactly. Right? So we are writing Q0, Q1. Q0 on receiving B, we are having Q0 only. That's why we are writing like this. So transition step number two and transition step number three, according to that, whatever the return value after making it as union, whatever the return value we get, so that should be written over here. Okay. So now this look odd exactly if you are using like Q0, Q1 according to designing this uh, skeleton exit. Fine. So what we need to do, we need to rename this. How many states are only three states are there, right? So we will rename it as ABC over there. Okay. After renaming, see Q0 will be renamed as A, Q0, Q1 will be renamed, named as B. And later renamed as C exactly. Okay, so in the place of Q0, Q1, we are renaming it as B. So everywhere it should be renamed accordingly. Okay, so now we need to represent the DFA machine. M will be equal to Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0, F. So Q will be equal to ABC. Okay, Alpha, Delta will be equal, sorry, Alpha will be equal to A, B. Start state will be A exactly. Final state will be C exactly. Then transition is shown as in diagram and the table. Okay, so A on receiving B. Okay, sorry, A on receiving small a, it will be going for B exactly. On receiving B, we will be having self loop. Okay, like this. According to this, we need to design the DFA exactly. Fine. So, this is what the first problem, students. Okay, I think you understood. Okay, because this is a very simple problem. So, now we'll go for the next version. Okay, observe it carefully. Uh, obtain an NFA to accept strings of A's and B's ending with AB or BA. Okay, convert this NFA to its equivalent DFA. So this is very, very important problem students. Okay, many times they ask in your exam. Okay, what we need to do, we need to design the NFA first, later we need to go for conversion. Okay, it is a bit complicated, like procedures are more, that's it. Okay, nothing else, we need to design the NFA over. So now, for A, B and B, A, we need to design. Okay, so here, uh, like for uh, A, B, we are opting this path. For B, A, we are opting this path. Okay, minimum string it is. So, uh, according to condition, A, B and B, A is the ending part. Okay. So, initially, we may be having any combination of A, comma B. So, we are providing a self-loop for Q0. Okay. Self-loop for Q0. So, this is what the NFA, what we can design for this particular condition exactly. See, Q0 is having multiple transition, right? Q0 is having multiple transition for A and multiple transition for B. Easily, we can identify, yes, this is a NFA exactly. So, accordingly, we are deciding like what is the Q, the number of states, what is the alphabet we are having, A, B. Okay. What is the start state? Q0 exactly. What is the final state? Q0 and Q4 exactly. Okay. So the transition function accordingly we have. So here the final state line is skipped exactly. Okay. Uh, like uh, I'm unable to have a complete full screen option over here. Some uh, taskbar is visible over here for me. Because of that, the last line is not visible for students exactly. Okay. So in next slide, I will just uh, try to uh, reshow this last line exactly. Okay. Fine. So now, uh, see here, we got a NFA, right? This is what the NFA, this is accordingly the transition uh, table exactly. Now we need to go for designing the DFA exactly. Identify the start state, Q0 is the start state, so DFA also will be having Q0 as the start state. Then uh, input alphabet we are having, AB in case of NFA, so here also AB will be the alphabet for DFA exactly. Now what we need to do, we need to go for identifying the transition.
Is it right? So uh, for currently we are having only with Q naught. So Q naught on the receiving A, Q naught on the receiving B. Okay. So by observing this, we are finding that Q naught on the receiving A. Okay. Multiple transition we are having Q naught and Q one. On the receiving B also Q naught and Q three. Multiple transition we are having. So B one. So new state we got. So remember always first you deal with A exactly. The uh, the like new state here. In case of this, we are having new state. Here also we are having new state. First we will deal this. Later we will go for this. Yeah. Okay. So now Q naught on Q naught and Q one we are having. So we need to go for the union operation. Okay. Q naught on A. Q one on A exactly. Okay. So here we are getting a null, but here we are having a return null. What is that? Q naught comma Q one exactly. Same thing we got. This is what. This is not a new state. Then we'll go for B. Q naught comma Q one on the receiving B. Again we need to go for a union operation. After union, Q naught comma Q three. Okay. Same thing we are getting over. Q naught comma Q three. Along with that Q two we are having. Right along with that Q2 we are having. So after unioning, Q0, Q2, Q3. Okay, remember one common mistake what student used to do is here they are finding the new state right. So from here they will start finding the transition for Q0, comma Q2, comma Q3. Don't do that. See in previous step or the transition step for Q0 this was the new state. Okay, and this is also a new state. We are right now finding the transition for Q0, comma Q1. We are not yet done with Q0, comma Q3. So finish it first. Later you go for this particular case. Remember, okay. So now Q not comma Q three we will deal with. Okay. So again union operation. Okay. We need to check the NFA. What is the return value we have? Okay. Q not comma Q one comma Q four we are getting. Observe it. Q not comma Q one comma Q four we are getting. Right. Q not comma Q one comma Q four. The new state we are finding. Along with that, observe it. Q not comma Q three. Okay. Q not comma Q three exactly. Okay, so now Q not comma Q three already we have. So this is what the new state, and here we got one more new state. So first we'll deal with Q not comma Q two comma Q three. Okay, Q not comma Q two comma Q three on the same day. We are not writing like this. Okay, we are just writing like this. Directly we are writing. We are not going for union operation. Okay, so if you want, you can write it like you can split here with union operation. No problem. So Q not union Q two union Q three for the input alphabet A will be written like Q not comma Q one comma Q four. Same thing we are having. Okay, later on receiving B Q not comma Q three, we are already done with Q not comma Q three, so we are not finding any new state. This is what the new state. So first we will deal with this new state over here. Okay, Q not comma Q one comma Q four. Okay, we make a union operation. Okay, for A make a union operation for B. Q not comma Q one. Observe it carefully. Q not comma Q one. Whether we found Q not comma Q one, just go through this. Yes, Q not comma Q one already we found. So this is also a not a new state. Old state it is. Then finally we are getting Q not comma Q two comma Q three. Okay, Q not comma Q two comma Q three. Fine. Observe it carefully. Q not comma Q two comma Q three. Already we are done with. Okay. So we are not finding any new state. Okay. This is uh, the the new state we can find it using the union function. So we need to go for drawing the transition table. Just observe here. This is what the transition table. Q not on the ceiling A. Q not comma Q one. Q not on the ceiling B. Q not comma Q three. So like that we are getting the transition table over. So on the reference of this, we need to go for designing the DFA exactly. So same table we are uh, like I am trying to reshow it over over here. Okay, uh, this we can easily rename it. We are how many states are there? One, two, three, four, five states are there. So Q naught I am naming it as Q naught itself. If you want, you can go for ABC. No problem. No worry. Okay. And later Q naught and Q one we are renaming it as Q one. Then Q naught. Like according to you, whatever you want, you can. So the design will be getting changed over there. That's it. Okay. So Q not Q two Q three. Okay, it will be named as Q two exactly. It will be a proper flow according to that. Okay. So if you want, you can name it as uh, like uh, here according to this. If you want, you can name it like uh, Q three also for this. Okay. If you want, you can exchange. No problem. So you will get the outcome will be same, but the gesture may get changed over here. Okay, so to get this appropriate gesture, okay, what we are doing, we are just changing this. Okay, Q not Q two Q three, we are renaming it as Q two. Okay, and this one will be named as Q three exactly, and last one will be as Q two. So accordingly, if you start uh, generating the transition table, uh, then this is what the transition table we can get after renaming. Okay, so based on this, we can draw this. Fine. So this is it. Uh, what we have done. Uh, for uh, design for accepting the string ending with A B or B A exactly. See here A B Q not Q one Q two Q not Q one Q two A B. 
Okay, B A Q naught Q three and Q four. This we already discussed while uh, discussing about the B F A pattern recognition problem. Okay, so I don't want to explain it again. Okay, if you want, if you have any doubt in this particular design, you can just go through the previous uh, videos of B F A where I have solved this particular question. Okay, okay, students. So this is it for now. So we'll meet with the next topic next video. Thank you, students.